What's up, nerds? nerds? What's up, nerds? God's Master here with another Magic the Gathering puzzle quest. Today's quest is another spoiler from PM2. Ooh, baby, baby. Uh, yeah, as always, gratitude and appreciation to the immaculate, the powerful, the dub G for Webcore Games or dub C. I like dub C. It's like MC, but upside down. I don't know. Anyways, let's get into it. Uh, so today I share with you another spoiler. Oh. Uh, I've heard some grumbles about some people saying they don't like uh, Eldrazi, and I ask you, why? Because today, death incarnate, the um, all-powerful, all-consuming beast of devastation across the multiverse, Emrakul, the world anew, 20 mana, devoid, hexproof, legendary flying, 12-12, it's a big girl, she big, she's... You know, this place has gone way downhill. What do you say we go somewhere else? That's a huge... Eldrazi. When this creature enters the battlefield, if you control two or less creatures, gain control of target opposing creature. So when this creature enters the battlefield, does not have to be cast, just enters battlefield. We can cheat this out with all kinds of different things, but uh, one of my favorite ways to cheat things out with connecting the dots. And no one ever touched my feet before. That's a huge... So we cheat her out with connecting the dots, we bounce her, we do some shenanigans. You gain control of target opposing creature. Then in just X, X is the number of creatures within Devoid, with Devoid, you control, so this would be one of them, so you, you ingest one, or if you have two, this would be two, uh, including the reinforcements, unless you have a dozen of these, right? Or, here's the deal, you're using Kip. Kip is starting to see a lot of use. We chat online for like two hours every day, so I guess you could say things are getting pretty serious. As you start to draw and combo and do the things, and draw the cards, Kip reinforces, so when another Ember Cool hits the board, it's kind of win more, I know, but it allows you to ingest more of the board, which brings you more of the Devoid mana gain. Again, if you don't know how Devoid mana gains work, Void Gems only give mana to Devoid creatures or cards with Devoid in hand. So, there you go. Actually, I didn't know this, Nalthazar said this in his last video, that once a Void Gem is on board, you can't convert it. So, if you have a board full of void gems galta can't do anything about it interesting interesting all right anyways back to the card hi i'm deuce biggest lady i've ever seen ah, that's a huge with the void you control including the reinforcements when this creature attacks process three so that's three void gems process it into gems of their color and right so you get uh, some, some matches that way but then your creatures get plus 12 plus 12 and gain haste so if i'm taking their creature and it doesn't have haste it gets haste, and it gets plus 12, plus 12. <laughs> uh, if they really wanted to make this OP, it would have been for every reinforcement it has. Could you imagine that? With, oh, that would have been a great way to do it. Oh, my goodness. But they did not, alas. So I still think this is something we can do and break it. But it is a total 12, 12 to the bottom line. I like this card. I think it's fun. It's colorless, so everybody can play it. It's got some ETB effects that allows you just at the minimum to take their creatures. So if you want to run some Gitrog Nagon Sack, you can do that. Or if you want to just do some gem infestations and some devoids, it's something that'll work for you there. How would you break this? How would you make this work for you? I think this is a natural addition to Kip. Uh, and then you can run some combos. It just gives you bigger and bigger and bigger stuff that combos off of each other with void gems and taking stuff off and getting it done. With that said, my friends, it's coming close soon soon i'm anticipating and i'm hoping and again i have no inside insights on this i'm expecting that we should see the full spoiler list soon hopefully within the week and then uh, maybe in a few days with the full set of spoilers i don't know i hope so but we'll see and then after that maybe another week and then we get the full set drop which would be fantastic that said my friends i'm excited for this set there's a lot of great stuff that's coming down the pipe and uh yeah emerald cool is dope with that said, my friends, I appreciate you. you can be anywhere in the world. Get into the Discord where we're having serious conversations about how this is going to change and shake the meta up. There's a lot of stuff that's going to be adjusting with this. And I just added a new section, suggestions for WebCore. Uh, you can go in there, comment, offer your suggestions for WebCore. They probably won't read it. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. But I think if we have enough voice inside of the, the server and let them know what we want. No negativity, just suggestions on ways to improve the quality of the game. Who knows, maybe they'll take a couple and put them to use. Until our next quest, my friends, until the set drops, PM2, and I got one more spoiler for you. I'll see you in the next one. Swords out.
Drazi, huge. Drazi. 